An opportunity to maybe go in one on one, but the puck is forced into the corner. He'll try and keep it alive as Zach Milton has to clear out his own end and doesn't as Norris will try and feed it to the man in the slot, which was Kelly. And then the Bees managing to get on the rebound, but not clearing the zone as Norris gets another shot into the crease. And that is a failure from the Bees there to clear their own defensive end. Had a couple of good opportunities to do so, but with 18 and 37 to go in the first, it's Norris who gets the opener and the bite and go one in front. Goodbye, looking for options, finds Milton, will go back to goodbye in the slot, but he doesn't get it. Mog steps in off the point to keep it in the offensive end, but the Bison will get a chance to break here with speed as Talbot comes in. Talbot with the shot, saved by Milton, rebound, back of the net! The big rebound off Milton, but Talbot kept his eye on the puck, and this is nothing short of a disaster start here for the Bees. 17 23 to go in the first, and the Bison, two goals to the good rest of the damage in his own end defensively. Bees trying to work this one around as Malenik's got it behind the back of the net into Dowdy. Sharp, shot, sharp, save. Back to the point. Nags works it across. Harvey Stead steps in. Rebound falls to the Sheriff. That is Roman Malenik. And from a tight angle, the Bees have got themselves back in this one with 7 and 14 to go in the first. It's back to a one goal game thanks to Roman Malenik's strike. So Brenda Baird's going to have to play the puck here in his own name. Baird sends it forward and will send Smith in one-on-one. -on -one. Josh Smith, great diving stop from Stone out of nowhere. Sent on again by Smith and instead can't pick up the rebound. Into the corner it goes as the Bison will look to wheel it around. But it falls into the slot again where the Bison are just stronger. And then Tolbert's gone high himself. He gets it off the skate. Tolbert in one-on-one. -on -one. It's a lovely finish on the backhand for Sam Tolbert. And there's the difference in the game for you. At one end of the ice, the Bees fail to convert their one-on-one -on -one opportunity. When it goes out the other way, Sam Tolbert makes no mistake whatsoever. So with 2 and 49 to go in the first, the Bison restore their two-goal advantage. Nags goes back into Malenik. Malenik will throw it on net from an angle for a tip. Doesn't get it as the Bison clear it out and they'll go all the way up the ice. Two on one break here as Tate will come in. He's got Kleiner into poor, but he doesn't need it because it's Ashley Tate over the glove side. It's another short-handed goal that the Bees have conceded this year on a power play. Ashley Tate worked it to perfection. So the power play chance for the Bees, well, hasn't come off yet. It's the Bison who extend out to a three goal advantage with one and five played in the second. Stead will stead up, Nags lays it off the Zamboni doors as they'll try and wheel it around into Zach Milton. 50 seconds as Goodbye collects it on the point. He'll now wheel it back to Nags at the top of the point. He throws it on net again, rebound in there, and it's buried by Josh Ely Newman on the rebound with 12 and 29. A good power play by the Bees there, recycling the puck Worked a couple of good opportunities, made Metton scramble in the Bison goal. So with 12 and 29 to go in the second, it's back to a two goal game. The Bees making the most on the power play there. That's the job. Draw win again as Morris will work it around the boards to be dumped in. Nags will find himself under pressure from Harding. And Harding wins his battle to lay it off to Baldowski! Just worked it in at speed as the Bees fail to clear it out their own end. With 7 and 51 to go in the second, Bordowski just came in at speed, then fired it low, and he made the most of that opportunity. 7 and 51 to go in the second. Bison restore their free goal advantage. Tate over the red line, drops it into Harding, who takes it at speed. Harding lays it back to Tate along the point. He throws it in, looking for the tip! Adam Harding finds himself at the net. It's the nicest of tips on the play as Danny Milton's going the other way. It's a third special team goal of the period for the Bison. It's a second power play goal with 3 and 37 to go in the second. They now have a four goal advantage. Front of the Met to draw win for the Bison. They come away with it through Kleiner. He's going to dance through neutralize over the blue line. Going to go right in on net and get it past Danny Milton on the blocker side. It's a second short-handed goal of the night for the Basingstoke Bison. Michael Kleiner with the finish on that one. 12 and 30 to go in the forward. 
Kleiner just picked up a little bit of speed, forced Danny Milton to commit and then fired it over the blocker. 7-2 to the Bison. All he can do is dump it around the boards and hope that the Bison don't win the foot race. But boys and girls, they do. Then they don't. And in the end, Aidan Downey is able to make the finish at the near post there. They didn't get the initial foot race, but how the puck then worked out. Good play by Josh Smith to feed it into the slot. And Aidan Downey finally found a way to breach Alex Metham's net with 5-21 and 21 to go in the third. It's quite muted, but the Bees have made it three. Turns it over and lays it into Goodbye. Goodbye will try and get it back into Webb. Webb lays it back to Goodbye. Goodbye's going to dance in the slot. And there's another goal for the TSI World Bretnell Bees. Once they broke out of their own end defensively, it was good endeavour moving forward from Ryan Webb, who has had an outstanding weekend, I felt, from his time in Swindon. And he worked it into Kabai. Kabai did the rest once he got in tight. 4-29. It's 4-7.